Welcome to iHnani.com. This is the seventh video of Computer Fundamentals, Part 2. Level 1 Computer Internals. In this video, I will continue computer software. Computer software. Though, we did not get into the specifics of the computer hardware explained the previous sections. We try to cover all the common external and internal devices, which forms a computer or a personal computer to be specific. This should have given you at least some faint idea about what it takes to build a computer. Having a computer, with all the necessary hardware, is like owning a car. Is it of any use without having somebody who knows how to drive the car? That is what it is like to have a computer with just hardware and no software. So now having software is like having a driver to drive your car. Now your car is useful isn't it? In the same way having software is like having a driver to make the hardware do its job. In other words, a computer can actually be divided into two parts. The first part being computer hardware which does all of the physical work computers are known for, while the second part, computer software, tells the hardware what to do and how to do it. Computer hardware, being a machine, only understands two, basic concepts, on, and off. The on, and off, concept is called binary system, with on, representing one and off representing zero. Computer software gives meaning to this binary values or the on and off states and uses this to instruct the hardware what to do. So then, what, is a software? Computer software, or software, is a collection of instructions and related data, to tell a computer what to do and how to do it. A set of instructions, are called a program. And if the set of instructions are large and complex, they are known as a system. Software can be anything that can be stored electronically. The term software was coined to contrast to the term hardware, meaning physical devices. In contrast to hardware, software is intangible, meaning it cannot be touched. Software is sometimes used in a more narrow sense meaning application software only, while it can also include data. Hardware and software, are so integrally linked, that they are useless without the other. Computers? Cannot do any useful work without instructions from software. A program must tell the computer, each of a set of minuscule tasks to perform, in a framework of logic, such that the computer knows exactly what to do and when to do it. If we go back to our example of, car and driver, we can say that, the driver operating the steering, gears, and other handles to drive a car to reach a particular destination, can be, compared to what software does. Software, drives the hardware, to get what the user wants. Here, the user can be termed as a passenger in the car, who instructs the driver to drive him to his destination. The instruction in computer terms is provided through input devices. Once the driver receives his input about the destination, it is not sufficient. The driver has to have, complete knowledge, about the route he has to take to reach the destination. With the route, he should also have crystal clear knowledge of when to accelerate, when to apply the brakes, when to stop, and so on. In the same way, the software should have crystal clear knowledge of each and every tiny bit of instruction that it has to perform, else the result will be same as that of our driver without clear instructions. Types of Software Although, the distinction is arbitrary, and often unclear. Practical computer software, can be divided, into three major classes, namely, system software, 
programming software and application software system software system software provides the basic functions for computer usage and helps run the computer hardware system software is any software that is designed to operate the computer hardware and to maintain a platform for running application software it is responsible for managing a variety of independent hardware components so that they can work together harmoniously the most basic types of system software are the computer BIOS and device firmware which provides basic functionality to operate and control the hardware connected to or built into the computer the operating system which allows the parts of a computer to work together by performing tasks like transferring data between memory and disks or rendering output onto a display device it also provides a platform to run high-level system software and application software utility software which helps to analyze configure optimize and maintain the computer programming software programming software is a program or application that software developers use to create debug and support other programs and applications programming software usually provides tools to assist a programmer in writing computer programs and software using different programming languages in a more convenient way compilers debuggers interpreters all some examples of programming software an integrated development environment is a single application that attempts to manage all the tools mentioned earlier application software to put it simple application software is any software that is designed for end users application software is developed for some certain purpose which either can be a certain program or a collection of some programs it helps to solve problems in the real world the browser that you are currently using to view our site the player through which you are viewing this video are all application softwares if you want to know more on computer software check out our tutorial on the same I hope this gives you a basic idea about what a computer is you should also be familiar with the words hardware software different hardware components and their uses now when you see a computer you can point out things and should be able to recognize what they are we saw what a computer is made up of in terms of its hardware and software this should be sufficient for all those people who would just want to get acquainted with a computer in the next video of computer fundamentals part 2 level 1 I will explain on how computers work you can find a lot of free video tutorials training materials how to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.